Hi guys, welcome to a special Halloween edition of Tips by Turtle Dude. And today I'm going to show you how to make this reusable puddle or pool of blood, whatever you want to call it. All right, so uh, we're going to get started. So let me show you what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need 100% silicone. Uh, you can get this pretty much anywhere. Uh, you're going to need a caulking gun. Uh, you see mine's well used because I use it a lot. I need that. Vaseline is very important. You'll need paint, uh, mostly red, but a little bit of black also, probably. You'll need something to mix it with. I have a styrofoam bowl and some plastic uh, knives. You also need a flat surface. Uh, Probably something like a sheet of glass would work better, but I'm just going to use this table because it's pretty smooth and we're going to cover it with Vaseline so to help it not stick to the table. So it should be fine. Uh, you probably uh, want gloves. I don't have gloves, but it probably would be easier if you had gloves, but maybe not. We'll see. Basically, uh, start by opening your uh, silicone. Uh, I like to use a pot cutter uh, like this. I used to open it a while ago, uh, but a knife or anything you normally use to open it would be fine. Just be careful. Uh, this brand also has a sheet of uh, foil inside that you got to puncture, so do that also. So basically, we're going to get started. Um, Probably first, what you're going to want to do before we get started on that is put Vaseline on your table because once we start working with the silicone, it's going to go pretty quick. So just basically smear Vaseline all over your work surface here. Make sure it's something you don't mind getting all this on and you can clean up easily. Uh, do it in a really thin layer though and spread it out because you don't want too much uh, petroleum jelly all over here that makes a mess and might interfere with your silicone but make sure you cover anywhere that you're going to want that you're going to put silicone down on uh, I think that's probably good all right, so you're going to have some on your hands. This is what the gloves would be for, but I'm just going to leave it because it might help me here in a minute. But so next, just kind of pour silicone into this bowl. Uh, I don't really have an exact measurement for you. It just really depends on the size of the blood pool you want to make. And I'm going to do quite a bit, but I think I think that would be fine. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to take your silicone and take fork or knife. I don't know why I keep calling it a fork. Now take your red paint. Uh, this, I think this is apple barrel craft paint, but craft paint like this is perfect for this. But basically just put a little bit on and start stirring it. You already see how how well the silicone's taking the color. Once you start this, though, uh, you won't have a whole lot of time to work with it, so do this step pretty quickly. Uh, the reason is is because the moisture in the paint causes the silicone to cure a lot faster than it normally would. Uh, basically, it'll be within five minutes or so. It'll be uh won't be completely cured but uh your working time will be 
long gone by then. So basically, we want to get it. Also, do this in a ventilated area, guys. It's this stuff stinks and puts off fumes. Uh, if you have to use a mask around it, uh, do that. But it, it really <coughs> puts out some fumes, especially this much. So do it in a well ventilated area. Now I kind of I like the amount of red in here now. So, uh, but it's now it's not quite as dark as blood should be so I'm going to add a little bit of black uh, do a little bit at a time you can add more if you need to uh, yeah just, just a couple of drops to start with we'll see it'll, it'll start getting hard to work here it's already getting stiff and I may have put too much black in already just that little bit amount but uh, if it gets hard to do uh, you got some Vaseline on your hands just kind of mix it with your hands a little bit now if you get it too dark uh, add some more Vaseline or silicone can't talk today for some reason. If it gets too dark, add some more silicone and a little bit more red paint. Let's see, I, I got this probably too dark. I mean, it's not completely mixed yet, but I get the knife back out. And At this point, you can pretty much uh, work it like clay because it's already starting to cure and, and get solid. Uh, but it's still workable as long as you got some petroleum jelly on your hands to keep it from really sticking to you, you can work with it. But that way you get the color kind of mixed in properly. I'm really, really liking that color now. It's it's dark, but uh, still kind of has that blood color. And it, it really, color-wise, it all depends on what you're going for. Uh, if you're going for Halloween or whatever, you might have it darker than what you would if, if you're doing it on camera because you can. Uh, color grade and post and you want it you want it to show up on camera so a little bit lighter would probably work better than but once you have your color mixed up just kind of flatten it out now uh, make sure it doesn't tear uh, but you'll want it really flat And you can see uh, the amount that I put in there is makes a kind of a medium-sized puddle. If you want bigger, just use more silicone and work with it. Uh, like I said, it's getting some tear spots if I roll it, push it out too thin. But uh, get some more Vaseline on your hands and kind of work with it and uh, smooth it out you don't want it showing your fingerprints or anything uh, definitely going to need soap and water after you're done to uh, clean up but that's basically all there is to this episode so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, subscribe, like, share, uh, stay tuned for future episodes and see you next time.